I decided um, I had a, a flathead that's been sitting on my hutch forever that was I painted orange and I was going to do a pumpkin. But I thought, wait, I went to Michael's to go pick up some more smooth finish and I saw all this stuff. I saw all of this. I wasn't going to be doing any more arrangements because I'm trying to get caught up and prepare heads for my auction and do my last of my orders and I saw all this stuff and I'm like, oh man, I'm going to do an arrangement with a candy corn. This is too cute. I love all this stuff. And there's a lot more there. Um, but I wanted to just do a little small one. So I'm going to draw a face. He needs a face so that he'll look super cute. And then um, acrylics dry super fast. So if my leg is not bothering me, after I draw and paint it, um, I'll see if it's safe enough to start arranging and I'll arrange it. And while um, I'm drawing and painting, Norma is going to prep me this uh, stand for him. So she's going to paint him black, paint this black, and uh, let's get started. Yeah. All Hi, right. Yolanda. This is first timer. First timer. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. This, Hi, uh, Susie. Can you turn this down. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Yes, welcome. Thanks for coming. I'm really excited about this one. I hope it turns out... Um, Sometimes I don't like drawing faces live because, you know, I kind of think as I'm doing. So I kind of did a little sketch off to the side what I think I might want. So we'll see how he looks. But wanted to try something different. I think when I get him painted and the florals done, he's going to look pretty cool. And this head is for my auction. Um, for any of you not familiar with that, on August 22nd, I'm having my second annual Halloween extravaganza auction. And that's where you can pick up some of my heads for some good, pretty good prices. I usually start the bids low. I will have a couple of giveaways, and the giveaways will be heads. Um, I'm not going to disclose those at this time. <laughs> and um, on my page, under events, I set up an event for the, au the auction. So if you'd like a reminder, go and click on it. Put whether you're going or interested. So then it'll remind you as the day gets closer. And then also, in the dis discussion part of that event, I'm going to be putting heads as they're made, so you get to see what will be in the auction. I have some pictures in there already, um, but there is much more to go. Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you all for joining. Thank you all who spreads the love. I super appreciate it. And thumbs up. That would be awesome. So I'm going to get started right now. So, I decided to do kind of an overhead, so maybe, hopefully, you can see a little better. So, are you going to show each one of those flowers, or oh. you're already done, so I can get, take care of them? <laughs> yeah, Norma's going to cut the, cut the uh, little stickers off of these for me, just in case I so have cute. time. I know, and I probably won't even use them all, but see, look at how pretty... She'll get these all prepped for me. Ready. Yeah. Lucy, Terry. I got, look at all this stuff. Ooh. So Hi, much. everybody. Thanks for joining Heather to watch Heather and her creations. <laughs> yeah, my crazy creations. Sometimes I could be a little edgy with the creations. Here you go. I gotta show you one of the one of the edgy ones. I just finished today, but I didn't post a picture. I did it in the auction, though. Hold on. I have been um, prepping heads for Heather all day today. So she can get right to it and uh, start drawing and stuff because she has so much to get done. Okay, just wanted to show you really quick. Whoa. Let me make it so you could see it good. This is a creepy one I did today. She's going to be in the auction. She's kind of scary. And this is one that didn't sell. Um... 
and she's not Halloweeny, but she's gonna be in the auction too. Okay. Hopefully they can see that. All right, I'm gonna get started before it gets too late because I know it's late over in the East Coast, and we have a lot of people in that area. Okay. Hi, Candy. I'm back again. <laughs> Norma is back. Okay, so let me just see here. Um, this actually could use another coat, but I'm not going to worry about it because I can always touch it up some more. I'm just going to try to figure out where everything's going to go. So, okay, I'm going to start with his nose. I'm going to give him, I'm calling it a him. I think it's going to be a him. Give him a nice oval, nice oval nose. And I might even put some orange glitter to really make that stand out. So just a, just a oval. Okay. And he's going to have a big smile because we want him to be a happy candy corn. Candy corn. <laughs> <laughs> nice happy smile. Give him these little cheeky things here on each side. This is a really simple, cute face that you can use for a lot of heads if you want to do, you know, like a scarecrow, a pumpkin, candy corn head, you know, just a little cartoon look. Very simple. You got your oval, make a happy face, up close to the nose so you can <coughs> come down and uh, make him smile. Just bring it down like that and make sure you look at it so it's straight ahead of you and then we want so that it's not so empty got to make that tongue just like that pretty simple if you ever want to draw something like this just get you a piece of paper draw it out and you'll see that it's not hard then you can put it you know draw it on your face now this is the only semi-difficult and it's trying to make sure that you get the eye level uh, even with each other. Symmetrical, I guess, uh, and that is this part. So you actually, that was a little too low. I'm using the sketch and wash pencil so I can just go da-da. Okay, so the top of his eyes, he has almost that, I'm doing almost that little bit of sad, kind of happy sad look. So I'm just going to do a curve here and then a curve here. This is the hard part of trying to get it even. Okay. They might be a little close together, but we'll see. I could always fix it if I need to. <coughs> okay, and then we come from the top, come down, and do like a teardrop. And the same thing on this side, come down, and just do a teardrop. When you start painting too, you could kind of adjust. I did a face like this, I think, for my bees when I did bees. Okay, so look at it, and hopefully it's pretty even. So you're basically just doing teardrops, and when you do it with an angle, of course. Um, and then you're going to add, of course, just little eyelashes on the end here. I do three on each one. And then up here on top, just carry your line up and just a little lash there. You can even do three if you want. Just like that. Okay. Um, then we're going to give him, give him, I don't know if I want straight eyebrow. Let's do well, curved, curved or straight. Um, let me get his eyes in here first. Uh, let's do another teardrop. So we're just going to connect it right here to this one, just like this. Just like that. 
Just like that. There, I love all the heads can't wait for auction. Thank you, Angie. I can't wait either. And I'm sorry if I didn't see any comment. Um, no, or, they all just been saying hi to each other. Okay, yay. Don't forget, spread the love. Uh, sprinkle and all those words they say to you. I forgot the other one. There was another one that started with an F that I didn't even know that's what it was. Float the boat. Is that what it was? Were you here? No, I think I it was know. float the boat. <laughs> That's interesting. Do all that jazz, ladies. <laughs> okay, so let's do. Do you paint with sprayer or brush to cover mannequin? No, I brush. Uh, use a filbert eight to brush. Or you can use a sponge. Um, never ever boat. use spray paint. <laughs> Float my boat. Yeah, can you guys float my boat? <laughs> I uh, never ever use spray paint. Hi, Tammy. Aw, oh, thank you so much. Only use acrylic paint. If you use spray paint, now you could, you know, if you get the, I guess, acrylic spray. My daughter-in-law was going to get me one of those spray gun thingies, like for nail salon kind, to try uh, using on the heads for my birthday. So I'm pretty excited about that. Mm. So there we go. Oh, oh yay, look at all the hearts. I, I love hearts. I that would save it. It works awesome. Yeah, I'm super <laughs> lovey-dovey. I love hearts. Awesome. Okay, so see how easy that was? It, it's not hard. You know, and if you have a moment, grab some paper right now. You're going to make your oval circle. And then just a happy face. Don't worry about this right now. Just a happy face. And then the little smile lines here. Then just bring it down. And then just like little hills there. I tell the ladies in my group, it's kind of like a somebody bent over, butt cheek. Oh, yeah. But there is a slant right there. So you want the little slant. And then do your teardrops. Okay, so now we're going to do um, another teardrop within this one right here. That's going to be the pupil. And... That's going to be painted black. And then after it's painted, we're going to go ahead and add the little highlights. Okay? So now I'm going to take my zero outliner in black. And this will go actually pretty quick. <clears throat> also, for the nose, because I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the glitter on the nose. Normally, when I use glitter, I use the base paint, whatever glitter color I'm using. So I'm going to be using orange glitter, so I'm not even going to paint that. I'm just going to outline it with black paint, and then the glitter will go directly on top, okay? So let's get started. I want to get it done because I would love to be able to decorate him with the florals and the pics tonight also. Sticking the paintbrush in there to get back to you. No thanks. <laughs> Hi, Denise. Hey, Denise. So, again, this guy is going to be available on uh, the auction. Thank you. Make sure they can see. That's a pretty good view, right? Overhead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is. It's a good one. So, and I think I'm going to do some light blue eyes I like faces like this because they're fast as long as you don't run into trouble trying to get it even it's a really quick face and if you're new to painting on styrofoam heads um, in my shop on creepyholidaystuff.com I have some tutorials and I've had a tutorial in there forever uh, many people have bought it and really it really has helped them and it's how to get a smooth surface on your styrofoam head it's only $4.99 uh, you could do that and then once you're ready just to start out for your first time do a simple face like this you know and uh, you're gonna have a lot of fun and once you do it the first time you're gonna want to make more and more and more and more Oh, let's just 
give him some eyelashes. Let's see. <clears throat> one here, one here, one there. Well, actually, um, that third one I don't really like. Kind of looks weird. Rachel wants to know. You probably already answered this, but where did you get the head that is smooth without a face? Those I get from um, Joann's. You can order them at Joann's if you don't have a Joann's. And Candy says, Heather, you should do a burr certificates for your head. They are people too. A what? Just, oh, a birth. <laughs> I oh, said birth. A birth a certificate. Birth certificate. How <laughs> I never thought of that. <clears throat> and Yolanda says, I just bought my first heads and want to learn. It's a lot of fun, Yolanda. And if you're ever interested, I do have a, a subscription group for $15 a month with the option to cancel any time um, where I teach how to do these styrofoam heads. <coughs> a lot of fun. We do uh, pre-recorded tutorials, live group tutorials, giveaways, all that jazz. I have a pinned post on my page with a link, and in the comments of that post, it describes... Um, what we do and stuff. So if you ever need help <clears throat> and you want to just, you know, even if it's just for a month, just to get in there and you'll have access to um, a good amount of tutorials and stuff. And all the women are really, really wonderful. Very inspirational. And I tell you, they are doing some amazing work. The ladies in the group, they're just, their heads are awesome. I'm going to go ahead and add that paired once if I did, but I don't really like it, but that's okay. All right. Yolanda says, I'll be signing up. Awesome. Maggie says, that's a cute idea, Candy. Kind of like the old Cabbage Patch Kids. Yes, that's the one. The Cabbage Patch <clears throat> Kids, they had the birth certificate. That's super cute. You could print them on your computer. <laughs> oh, you guys, also, I can't wait to see it. So, I had an order for the sisters. For those of you that have been with me for quite a while, you know I uh, I did the sisters either a year ago, year and a half, I don't remember. And there are two witches, and I put them in a wreath, and I, I actually have the wreath hanging in my living room because I just fell in love with it. And they're grumpy sisters. They're like sneering at each other. So That's anyway, the one you didn't want to get rid of, huh? Yeah, and I kept a... Uh, and um, wanted it. <laughs> my Lord Reigns, M M O M L R Designs with Sharon, she actually ordered the sisters. And she did a live today. And I'm so happy. She's super happy with them. She was really happy. And she's going to actually do double wreaths with them. If you go and watch her live, she'll describe what she wants to create with them. So I'm pretty excited. I just, I can't wait to uh, see what she does because her designs are beautiful. Candy says, I love the snakes on the sisters. <sighs> yeah, I love, I just... Little snares, I mean. Yeah. Man, I got glasses on and I'm reading things. Okay, I was trying, I had to I sit here for a minute. I was quiet and I'm like, wait, did I put snakes? I don't remember snakes. <laughs> it's me, I'm not reading right. And I'm like, I have to go back and double And I'm wearing Thank my glasses. You, Terry. Right. I just love you guys. Oh my God. Yeah, the snares are good. In fact, Sharon was saying that she's an, uh, uh, a twin when you're, what is it when you have one that's exactly like your identical, identical yeah. twin? And she's, she said that, oh, she goes, oh, it reminded me of me and my sister. <laughs> that was funny. So, yeah, go check out Sharon's, her, her live she did today. She'll, uh, and she shows some other awesome stuff. Uh, Candy's asking, did you share her live on your page too? I didn't. Oh, my God. I should have. No. David says, I can't paint. <laughs> Damon. Hi, Damon. <coughs> Damon, you can paint. You can do it. Trust me, you totally can do it. I did it. <laughs> Norma did it. Norma don't paint, and she just followed along with me. I'm like, hey, not Trust bad. me, Damon, <laughs> do it. 
I know it's so fun too because you know it opens up to so many more designs you don't have to put these heads in wreaths you can make an arrangement on top like I've done um, you could just put them on a stand and decorate them for Halloween and another thing I did on my other live I was talking about a lady wants to hang her on a wall so I just cut it right in half and then she'll put the little hook on the back and she hang it on the wall so there's a lot you can do with these but they really complement wreaths. I have a lot of fun just decorating the heads. I haven't done it for quite a while. And then I got an order for the scarecrows that I did. And then I did the Sally and the other one. And now I'm just getting a little hooked again. <laughs> okay. So there's, look at, there's the simple face. It's cute. Super easy. Um, so we're going to do really quick, get his face done so that we can decorate him. Oh my God, I got paint all over me now. I'm paint this then since you're done with black. Okay. And Norm is going to work on painting his stand. So he has a stand to be on. Do you need on. a white paper towel or anything? Um, no, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, I, I've watched Damon's lives. He does awesome work. Awesome work. And a pretty super cool guy also. All right. So I'm going to get moving here so I can get this done. All right. Oh, thank you. I wanted to do, being that he's a candy, um, candy corn. I thought, oh, I want to do just something really cute and simple because I think this would be a fun project for uh, anybody to do, you know, that wants to, to make one. It'd be simple and uh, easy. Hi. Hi, Susie. That's Susie from Susie Stubden. <laughs> Susie. Hey. Um, Maggie says, Heather, I meant to ask you the other day, Janelle? what type of knife did you use to cut the head Janelle? in half? She did leave. I used um, nothing in washer dryer. It's a no, a Flora Craft. It's the styrofoam cutter, and uh, I don't have it on me at this moment to show you. Actually, I think it's over there, Norma. If you want to see, if you, if not, um, I'm busy. <laughs> she's busy. <laughs> when I'm done painting, I'll bring it. Um, but it's the Flora Craft, Flora Craft styrofoam cutter. Just a little tiny gadget you plug in, and uh, it gets super hot. And I tell you what, it just goes a little slower than that, but it goes really good. Terry says, look at the numbers. I know. What the heck is even happening? <laughs> People must be floating my boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. I just want everybody to mark their calendars for August 22nd for my, my second annual Halloween extravaganza. And better yet, on my page, go to the event and click if you're interested or going so it can remind you. And you'll pick up some cool heads for some good prices. I have a couple of pictures in there already of some of the heads that will be there, but there's going to be more. Um, I'm going to post pictures as I get the heads done. I'm still doing orders and um, in between trying to get heads for the auction done. So. I didn't know what that meant at first. I, was supposed to say. <laughs> I didn't know either. I had to ask. I'm sorry. What is? What do you mean? Float, float, float your boat. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. I I think he's super cute, and he's really uh, easy and fast to make. Easy and fast. And look at how the colors really pop. I wish I had better lighting in here, but my best lighting is when I do this in the afternoon, natural sunlight. But those colors pop. Look at the red on that yellow. Thank you, Portia. So I'm just doing my first coat. I want to get 
this all painted before I put glitter on his nose because I use extra fine and I don't want any of that glitter to get on the paint. I want to try to keep it all on a... Let me get some of this all you wood. Stuff dries fast. Huh? It dries really fast. That's why I was saying if I could get him long. painted, I can go ahead and decorate him on the live because it dries super fast. I would like to get him on the stand, but it's just a touch longer on the wood. Thank you for floating my boat, Christine. It sounds so funny. I love that term. <laughs> I wonder who made it up. <laughs> who knows? All right. He's actually almost done. I bet you Laura Jean would love this. She loves everything candy corn, she says. Laura Jean is, ah, dang it. She's the first person I started watching a few years back. You started watching her? Yeah, that's who I, very first person, and I probably watched every video she had at the time. I love her, uh, her wreath, and uh, that's beautiful work. But she always said so she just loves um, anything candy corn. Um, so when you're doing the eyes, you know what? Don't worry if it's not perfect, because nobody's, you know, nothing's perfect. If you're a little bit off, it's all right. If it's something you can fix, then fix it. If not, don't even worry about it. Your boats are all out from the dock, so I sent it to my page as well. As in the, oh, thank you, Candy. Awesome. Whoa. If you ask a question and I don't see, I don't see it. I apologize. Um, if I don't respond, just, no, yeah, no send me. You can always send me a message if I don't get to um, your Melissa is asking, was the front of the face sanded down or I, is it on the other side? Um, I do not like using sandpaper on That's my head. That's a flat head. Yeah, That's this is a flat head. It's a flat head. I get these at uh, Joann's. Yes, that is the doggies drinking. <laughs> yes. Uh, one one of them. Mm -hmm. All right, he's coming along pretty good. Another thing too, if you're gonna draw using the um, the uh, wash and um, sketch and wash pencils, what's really nice is that when you're all done painting and everything, if you see any pencil marks anywhere, you don't have to go in there and touch up with paint because you just get a damp paper towel and boom comes off in one swipe it's really easy all right so let's give him his eye color and then he'll have his glitter and then i'll see if anything needs another coat and then i'll be able to decorate <coughs> can i oh, it's kind of dry can i go on another yeah uh -oh. absolutely pretty pretty thank you is he super cute <laughs> Your boats are, oh, I already read that. <laughs> My boats are all over the place. Oh, there's all kinds of comments. Ooh, I didn't even see this. You know this. what you should do? You can find them. Um, let's say you, oh, candy dancery, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See how you have yellow and orange in that one? You should do that for that one. What did you, what'd you say? How you have yellow and orange. <sighs> oh, shoot. You should do yellow and orange for the eyes. Oh, I thought blue would be really cute and stand out more. Something to pop. Because then everything's going to, then because he's got yellow down here, you know, I want his eyes to go bing. Here, you'll see. Anyway, I didn't close. Hi, Patricia. Denise. Why don't you do like a funky color? Because I'm just trying to hurry and get him done so I can decorate him tonight. Oh, okay then. Um, I told him if I can get him all finished, then I can decorate during the live. Um. And if I get too crazy on the colors, it takes more time. Oh. Then my leg starts turning off. Have they the seen that one? Um, yeah. Portia, listen, where did you get the pencils? Um, 
Well, Candy already answered Amazon. <laughs> yeah, I know. Did you get some at Michael? I mean, uh, I'm trying to remember. I remember going, oh, I need a sharpener, so I grabbed them. Uh, you know, it might have been Hobby Lobby. I don't remember. But yes, Amazon, you can get them. Have you ever tried making the pupils glittery? Not the pupils, the, the iris? Actually, yes. With my pumpkins, I did the plastic pumpkins. I did them that way. How'd Looked, it look? Look really good. I could probably do it on him, too. What are you going to do for his nose? Uh, he's going to have orange glitter nose. Ooh, okay. See, so he has a lot going on there with the nose, so I didn't want to overdo. And I think just a nice little blue eyes. Oh. Okay, that looks a lot better. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Super cute. I have to do a few touch-ups there, but i got to fix this. No, it looks pupils. cute. Yeah. Let's give him some highlight because... You know what's crazy? You do a head like this. Once you first, let me fix the. Oh. Okay. Once you. Uh, oh, I just closed it. I know. I told you. I know. I need uh, to fix his. Hold on. I'll finish that comment in a second. Let me just do this. Here. Lines. Oh, uh, those are all going to get wiped oh. right off his pencil. Right there. You need to connect it to the... You need better how you have it connected over there. <coughs> On the other side. Oh, here. Yeah, right there. Okay. okay. Anyway, so when you do uh, eyeballs, yeah, once you put small. the highlight in the eye, whether you're doing natural, realistic looking eyes or cartoon eyes, wow, it just... It makes them pop, and it just brings them, you know, like, wow, I don't know, it puts life to it, I guess you could say, almost. That's another way of putting it. So I just take my white, and for him, I'm going to go ahead and go right there. One there, straight across, one there. Look at that, how much that just gives him life. You can even add another one over here. One there. <coughs> okay, let me just do a little touch up here. Oh, okay, Janelle, awesome. Thank you, love, for letting me know. I told her, let me know when you make it home. Oh, good. And I said, my phone, you will, I have on do not disturb. So. Thank you for all the hearts. Don't forget to float the boat. Float my boat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I do have to do some touch-ups on the outline, but that's okay. Just. He's looking so cute. Isn't he cute? He reminds me of my bee that I did. <laughs> Let me just, uh, I will put the glitter on the nose. And, and then, uh, I love it. Glitter his nose and then get his decorations ready. I'll adjust the camera so that you'll be able to see me decorate him. Just kind of go through, do a few little touch ups. Do you like the angles on the camera? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's crazy how he just came to my head while walking in Michael's. It's amazing how it just 
simple old head. Now it's come to life. Yeah, and it's this. This is a a pretty pretty quick tutorial. You know, you guys can go back and watch it, and uh, you know, stop it, start it, whatever. And for anybody wanting to make him, it won't be difficult. So I'm saying, hey, go out there, have fun, make this. You're not going to hear me complain. This is something I'm sharing right now online. This one. This is so cute. Thank you. I'm just kind of, this outline really defines the eyes more. Oh, I love him. Okay, so now it's time for glitter on the nose, and then his face will be done. A lot of little smiles with the little heart hugging. Yay! <laughs> okay, and what did I do with my glue? I know you handed it to me. On the other side by your water. The tacky? Oh, here it is. I used Claire Gel Tacky Glue. And let me grab this paper. And I just set him down. Have let me get a swig first. Gary's not here to say drink. Ladonna says love your talent. Thank you, Ladonna. Thank you. More doggies drinking. <laughs> More doggies drinking. She says you are very talented. Ah, thank you so much. Which is adorable. <coughs> okay, just real quick, just put this tacky glue right in there. You don't want you don't want it to be too heavy because it will, you know, if it's too heavy it'll just drip. And then you'll have to say dry up drip. <laughs> what? What are you even saying, Ronald? And if you go out of the lines, don't worry, you could fix it. Try not to, but you can fix it. Okay, that's all we do there. I get a straight angled brush or a flat one ready. Because when I put the glitter, then I can do all the little repairs if it has if it comes out of the lines too much. Oh, the fan. That was gonna say, all right, so your eyes are safe, they won't get it? The paint's already yeah, dry. Yeah, they're good. Can you stand in front of me over here, Norma, and put this in front of the fan? Just like that. Just so it doesn't blow it again everywhere. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of still more. How about we just turn yeah, it off? Yeah, just turn it off. No. The there, there, thank you. I like to put a good amount, make sure I get it the first time. So cute. Gently dab it. And <coughs> Okay. Let me get rid of this so that when the fan goes on it doesn't blow it all up my nose. <laughs> Top, so okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah. And then I just go ahead and go around and tacky glue. Work. I mean, if you just move it around, so easy. Okay. I want the outline to show, so I left. I didn't go all the way into the outline, and then this helps me push it in so that it shows just like that. Now, one thing I didn't do that I probably should have, um, and that is wipe to get rid of the pencil, but it's so mild, I'll be able to get rid of it there around the nose. And with the fan. See, I have some pencil marking there. I'm just going to go like this. It's gone. 
God. And then up here, gone. I love the sketch and wash. Oh, it's awesome. There, it's gone. So, That's okay. Cool. Those are those new pencils you got? The yes, I wash. love it. I'm going to get more. Okay, and now, he is done. Dun, dun, dun. Yay. <laughs> Terry, hush, Ron. That was earlier, I think. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm going to end up doing another coat on the eyes, but I'm not going to do it now. After I do that, then I'm going to use my Duraclair as a varnish to seal his face. Um, normally, I would do it all and seal his head, but I'm going to work around that because I, I want to decorate him now. I don't want to wait. I want to get him decorated for you guys. <coughs> Hopefully, it looks okay. So, I'm going to adjust the camera, and anybody like to hang around and watch me decorate, that's what I'm going to do. Yay. And Norma painted his um it's a little damp. Yeah. Norma painted his stand. This is his stand, but it's still wet, so I can't do anything with it. But he's gonna be on this like that. So I'll actually put it over here and it'll catch some of that breeze. Yeah. Um, Sandy says love him. Thank Norma you. Says, wow, love. He says gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Danny says he's adorable. He is super Deb, cute. Debbie says, is he for sale? He's, <laughs> he's actually going to be um, in the August 22nd Halloween auction I'm having. So that's what he's for. Um, I'm going to adjust the camera now so you can watch me decorate him. He's so cute. He is. So that's when you'll you get a chance to purchase him. You guys will have that beauty noir. <laughs> <sighs> One second, trying to. <clears throat> get a better view for you. Uh, Portia wants to know, do you just glue him on the base? Yes, I use dowels. Um, we drill holes in the wood and put dowels. And then glue it, the head to it. For those of you who haven't seen, that's my scary one. Okay. <laughs> Hold on one second. Norma, can you chat with them so I can put these away? Sure. And dowels are those little, you know, little long sticks. Uh, yeah, you can actually show them. Let me, let me, let me grab one. one. Let me grab one here. <clears throat> that's the, these things. So Heather usually cuts them about five to six inches. She drilled two holes in here so she'll put two and then the head will go on there and of course she does also do the gluing gluing I mean so um, very simple you know and she'll cut these because they come long insert it in there two of them so pretty cool and then of course because these heads you know they have already the holes underneath so that's why she puts two you know and they'll go in there the other end so <clears throat> that's what she does. Uh, and Heather will be right back right now. She went to go get something. Don't you know? <laughs> oh, that's good, Maggie. You're saving up for the auction. It's so much fun. Ask the people who have joined us. It's it's just so fun, especially when there is a, a bidding war on a certain head or something. It's so fun. <laughs> no, Portia, it's not really top heavy. Um, I mean, if you're going to make it really high, you know, but um, Heather pretty much evens out the weight. And um, that's why it's awesome to get the little stands and she can put them in, you know, you put them in there. They're uh, pretty steady so they don't fall and, you know, styrofoam heads get okay. dented. I had to do the peepee -pee thing. <laughs> ah, that's okay. I had to do the peepee -pee so thing. So Maggie says she's uh, saving up for the auction. Awesome, awesome. Um, and make sure you go and um, click on the event so it <clears throat> gives you a reminder so you don't forget the date. And uh, of course, okay. said thank you. I was thinking it would be top heavy when it's decorated, but I told her no. Yes, no, it would be yeah. if there was no stand. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm gonna go a little bit lower so that you could see them. Oh. Are you gonna paint? Chick? I'm gonna put bleach on my shoes. What brush can I ruin? Um, you, <laughs> you can, any of those, well, you want a big one? No, I want a small one. Just pick one and then show me and I'll tell you if you can't ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to scoop these all towards you. <coughs> Can you hand me my glue gun here? Uh, see, he says, me too. I can't wait. He's talking about the auction. The auction is super fun because Norma and I are going to dress up. What are you going to be, Norma? I don't know. Can you push this? <laughs> For Halloween? In August. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's well, hard to find a well, we're going to have to figure something out. Mm. I know how it will be kind of hard because it's in August. To order it online? This one. I think I'll just make up. What's the money? Make up, yeah. We need to make up. But we want to have the. What is it? Is it called ambiance or whatever? Yeah, you know, like for not just the groove. Like, hey, it's Halloween. It's, it's a Halloween <laughs> auction, so we're gonna make it Halloweeny. The only thing is, you know, if I have quite a few heads, it does take quite a while. People have to, you know, wait. So maybe I can let people know ahead of time the order that we're gonna do them, so that then they don't have to sit through mm -hmm. it. Somewhere. Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. You should make a full list and then post it. I yeah. do. I have on the event. I've been posting pictures. No, she says make a list like like the name one, two, and, oh, then, and then like yeah. how you have your paper on the list. Yes. Make that list and post it. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, hold on, let me get. I have another thing that for my other arrangement I didn't use that I wanted to oh. use. So, did you like the pasta, Cody? I do, but then Heather puts so many chickens in it. <laughs> okay, sorry. Ooh. All right. So I had this from uh, my Jack and Sally. I had I extra. Over here. I feel like it's too close. This is super cute and I like it because I want this to be a short arrangement so I'll ha I'll let that be my guide. Um, That's true because you don't want to go too big then no, this just costs more money. if I go too big oh, the majority of the people the majority is Midwest back east and it's high shipping because the shipping costs went up you know so yeah. I actually stopped doing the arrangements for a while because it's just so expensive but there's you know some people that want them still so I'm gonna make a few. Cool. So my plan is to have a couple of the Jack and Sally just the head. I have the arrangement that's gonna be in the auction but I'm gonna also have just the heads maybe two more for anybody that wants to uh I think too another head of this plane without being decorated because it's so cute. Yeah, would and anybody they can decorate their own? Any of you guys be interested if I have just the head like this in the auction? Oh, there's Gary. How you here, Heather? I'll drink. Ah, uh, <laughs> there's Gary. I was just saying Gary's not here to tell me to drink. Yeah. Hi, Gary. <laughs> Ron, you want to say hi to everybody? Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Reiki, seems waiting. <laughs> this is not super hot yet. How's you going to do this? Uh, He's like, oh, look at him. He gets already ready. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> so this is where I start. I get it right in there. Because I don't want it to go anywhere. Oh, Lito, you're still my favorite. Hey, brother Gary. <laughs> he goes, hey, sister, Doma. <laughs> brother <laughs> Gary. All right. Let's see what I have on here. A lot of candy corn stuff and I love these. I love these. 
These are all from Michael's. Uh, Debbie says, yes, the head would just be great. Just I said, head, you, know. you know, I can make a, make some of them because yeah, they're so simple. They're simple and they're absolutely cute. Mm -hmm. And you know what will be even funner is what I really love is when I get to see what um, people do with them. Yeah. I love to see the pictures. And then they're not scary in case you have grandchildren, little yeah. kids, you know, and they scary things scare them, you know. They're perfect yeah. for little children. Kids would think they're adorable. Says, I'm going to try to do a Jack and Sally. Jack and Sally is pretty awesome. And you know what? That one is not hard either. Did I do a tutorial in group, Denise, of Jack and Sally? I don't even remember. Well, you can't even see the whole head. Hold on. Sorry. I just realized you can't see the top. And I will tell you that what you're seeing here, you're not really getting the full, pretty, bright colors. Honestly, um... The lighting is not good, and he he is much more brighter than what I'm seeing on my page, on my yeah. computer. In person, there's like, I mean, all the colors, like, even like the candy corns on that you're putting, they look good, dull, but no, they're really bright. Yeah, vibrant. they're really bright and pretty. <clears throat> they're not dull like it looks. Oh, there's a candy corn right there. <laughs> Hold on, I got like limited room here. <laughs> okay, all right. You know what else would look really cute on him is a little tiny spider. It's a little spider. Oh, yeah. That would look cute. I only have big spiders. I always get worried though because the sides, the sides can be a little funky and also too, his ending result is going to be either a black boa, kind of makes him look like a bumblebee even though he's, or an orange. The orange, oh yeah, more. the orange I think, yeah. Yeah, that look cute. But anyway, Sherry says, hi, Michigan. First time watching. You do amazing hey. work. I love it. Awesome. Thank you so much for popping in. <clears throat> okay. okay, I'm going to just do some greenery. I always use this little, the little ivy. It works perfect to fill in the head. I don't want it. In the sides, you can just bend it and spread it. Right? Yeah. I don't want to hide all. Some of these are going to hide because I'm making it really short. But that's okay. Oh, 
sides are what always worries me. I think I'm going to have the... Can Isn't this awesome? You know, some of you ladies I know make these, I believe, the candies. Oh, do they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love this one. And it's just like felt on the ends. And it's styrofoam, or I don't know what it is. It's super soft. I really, I love it. So that's going to be the focal point. So I think about right, right, right there. I want it to be low. If I figure out where <laughs> it is, how it fits, I'm going to finally decorate this, this pumpkin, pumpkin head from last, last year. year. <laughs> You gotta decorate Miss Pumpkinhead. Is the actual face on the back? No, this is a flat head. This is the back, and this is a flat head. You could pick those up at Joann's. I love using flat heads when I'm doing um, cartoon style characters, and then I use the facial featured heads. For, you know, most of the other. You know what? I think a little bit lower. She said thank you. You're welcome. I don't see everything I got. Oh, oh look, look at those. Cute. Isn't that pretty? Separate these. Do. Maybe you should cut it in half and use like one candy corn over there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> separate these ones. Yeah. I'm actually going to put this one kind of low here to help the front. Oh, he's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> I really, really like him. Oh, dang it. I think I'm going to do a few of these downward. I have a How much would you sell that for? Um, you know, I'd have to add up the material and stuff. Um, uh, oof, I hate to throw a number out there. Let's see, you got to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I honestly, I'm not really sure. It would maybe between 75 and 120. Just depends. I'd have, like I said, I have to add stuff up. Um. And Candy said that she'll do her best to find the glue sticks that she got from Dayton tomorrow. Yeah, these glue sticks I hate. Are those ones you got from Joann? Joann's, yeah, I'm no. sorry. Joann, the Joann brand um, glue sticks I, I cannot recommend. Sorry. Um, Sharon's asking, I'm sorry for asking questions. No well, do problem. Do you sell the heads already painted, just mm. the face painted? Yes. <laughs> My heads, um, just the face painted, sells for between 35 and 45 Just a regular head like this one, I would sell them for $35. If there's a lot of glitter, a lot of rhinestones, um, I want to have some sprinkles of yellow. I would sell them for forty forty-five. And I have a website, creepyholidaystuff.com. 
And uh, I think I might have like one or two heads left. Everything's sold out. A lot of the older heads, you will see the prices are from last year, so they're a little bit higher on some. But uh, she says awesome. Yeah, I haven't honestly haven't been able to fill up my store because I've I have had a uh, I had so many orders. Yeah, I had 19 orders um, that I was trying to get done, and I have probably. Two or three left. I was hoping to get them done before I opened up my orders on the 20th, which is tomorrow. So there will be a little delay for anybody that's going to be placing orders. I know some people are waiting till tomorrow to message me to place orders. Um, still going to be a little bit of a delay. She says, I can see why with a little heart. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Denny says, I use uh, Gorilla Goo Sticks. They work great. I didn't know they had them. Yes, that. they do. Um, that's what I need mm. to get. That is what I need. This rose looks kind of stupid. It looks really square. Yeah, I don't like it. <coughs> but it's the one that has the metal in it. I think they need to be twisted, the bottom parts, because they're all together. You need to turn it, you maybe? Huh? A little on the rose. Oh. The rose ones. Here, I'll let you want to fill with it. Yeah. The sides can be tricky, so I just try to kind of taper off on the sides. Then I'll also will I don't I won't do it on the live, but I will also decorate um, the back just a little to make it look you know nice and not not yucky. We don't want the back to look yucky. Hi Liz. Hi Damon. I want to put some yellow in here. I'm catering to this side. I will be moving to the other side, but I'm just trying to. I guess it just sounded like I can't twist it. So. Yeah, that's weird because I love the little black roses, but that one is weird. Just a little splash of yellow in there. Um, I feel like I'm just brushing. I don't know why I'm brushing. I don't want to mess up that candy too much. So I have these two. One, but some of these are pretty orange. <laughs> Sharon goes, here I go again with, again with the questions. How did okay. you get started doing these? Um, don't feel bad that you ask away. That's why Heather's here. <laughs> yes. Um, it all started in 2018. My daughter-in-law showed me, well, I'd seen a wreath. She had showed me a wreath that had a, it was a Halloween wreath. And I'm like, oh, she's like, you know, you should really make these. So I'm like, oh my God. Well, when I see something I want to do, I go crazy. And I'm like, oh, I've got to do this. I love it. Blah, blah, blah. So I got into it and strictly only made Halloween wreaths and I told her, oh, well, I need to have a name. I need to have some kind of name if I'm going to be doing this so I can start a page. That's how I came up with, oh, okay, have a creepy holiday stuff. And then getting more into the, the wreath community, I started seeing, um, I'm not digging this too much here. I started seeing all these other people making wreaths and I just went crazy. I'm like, oh, I love it. So I started making all kinds of holiday wreaths and stuff like that. And then across my feed, I don't even remember the lady's page, but it was a very simple, um, a very simple 
like a Day of the Dead styrofoam head. And wow, that was just like, I was like a kid in a candy store. I saw that and I, that was it. From that moment on, I, I went and I bought um, styrofoam heads and I haven't stopped. Oh. Shane and Thank I don't know how to say Lashane. Lashane. So Lashane. happy I uh -huh. Lashane. Uh -huh. So happy I caught you doing the live. Excited to see how it come together. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. <coughs> oh, how about little leaf there? Maybe okay. she said, girl, I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> Yolanda wants to know where did you get the candies? Oh, all from Michaels. All from Michaels. And I, I to, to continue with my story, I must say, because um, I've drawn and painted my whole life since I was little. But when I started learning how to do the wreaths and stuff and the arrangements, it was so fun. But I tell you what, when I saw that styrofoam head come through my feet and I started making those. That's when I just, I think what really made it even more fun for me was that I got to do two things that I really love in one item. You know, I got to paint and draw and then do the florals. So and that was the end of the wreaths, huh? <laughs> the wreaths weren't selling good because the prices for my wreaths for the heads because you know it's not cheap it's expensive to ship the really big wreaths and especially if you're putting a styrofoam head in it um it really ups the price because the height of the box so that's why i kind of backed off and plus i just really enjoyed <laughs> making the heads so if you go to my photo album in my photos for uh, styrofoam head art, you'll see I just I went crazy making heads. Haven't stopped since. And the ideas are endless. Absolutely endless of what you can make. I know. We went to Michael's today and she comes out and she goes, Oh my God, I have an idea. About this candy head, just like that, poof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just, hmm, it just came to me when I saw the little pics. Sharon says, your, your talent is amazing. Thank you for sharing your story. I can't paint a straight line. <laughs> I might put that there. I don't know yet. Sharon, you, you know what? You really can actually... Just sit down and, and give it a try, and I bet you're going to surprise yourself. You just have to take your time and try. And one thing is, and I always tell the ladies in the group, that um, if something's not working out and you get frustrated, always walk away. Leave it. I've done that so many times. I walk away. I've even put stuff down and then uh, go back to it the next day and try again, and, and then it just works out fine. Says, you can do it. Where are you located? I am in California on the central coast. And she says, gorgeous. Cases. Beautiful. He just looks so flowery and cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute because it's just a tiny little arrangement. Nothing, nothing yeah. huge, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's what I wanted when I, in my mind when I was thinking candy corn head. Just small, something simple. small. Yeah. I'm just poke this in here. Doesn't want it to go in. Put a floral pin in there just to be safe. Mm -hmm. 
Santa. He says he's so cheerful. Just love it with all his candies. And with all these flowers, he just looks so cute. And there's a candy crisper from Dixon. Oh, <laughs> there's a Candace. Well, it's Candy. Candy. I eat. That's yeah, Candy's but... name too, Candace. Uh -huh. I love that name. He is pretty. We just want this little flat flower right there. What do you think of this so far? I like it. Turn it this way. Oh yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hmm. give him some. I can't, this is his first time here, ah. the C-A-N-D-I-E. Thank you for <laughs> popping in, Candace. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to put glue and a floral pin on you. So since it's the first time here, it should explain that her first time, uh, what you're making it for. Oh, yes. <coughs> for all the first timers. <laughs> Yeah, for anybody just popping in and it's your first time on my page, first of all, my name's Heather. And you are watching creepy holiday stuff. And I'm actually preparing for my second annual Halloween extravaganza auction, which is going to take place um, August 22nd. And I have an event on my page set up. So if you would like to uh, have a, you know, chance to come in and maybe get some heads at some good prices because I usually start my bids at low prices. Um, you can go in and set a reminder so that you'll get reminded. And I also have a, in the discussion part of the page of the event, I posted some pictures of some heads that are going to be in the auction, but that's not all. I'm going to be posting more as I create them. And the auction, they're so fun. They are. <laughs> it's it's fun. Norma have a, and I have a good time. We do. We have a good time. These are kind of sticking out a little too much on the sides of his head. <clears throat> the same Thomas said, I stayed up until 2 a.m. last night painting my 3D, oh, my third mannequin head. It's so addictive. Oh, who yeah. said that? The same. Awesome. They are addicting. Um, Especially once you're on a roll. Yes. You, know, you just like, you don't want to stop. I was up after midnight with that scary one I showed earlier. Oh, tell them how you got oh. scared. <laughs> and because, okay, so I was looking at a scary picture because I love the way the eyes look on a scary picture. And, you know, it's late, midnight, late. Nobody's awake in the house as far as I know. My doggies are all sleeping. And I, I don't like the way the candy corns are hidden in here. I'm going to have to remove them. Um, and so I'm working on this head, looking at the scary picture, and then looking at the head itself because it was actually scary. And then all of a sudden in my peripheral, I saw like somebody staring at me and my husband just barely peeking around the corner. He scared the crap out of me. It was pretty horrible. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you can't do that to me, you know? Oh, we're way old. I'm not even thinking. But it was funny. I said, you can't be sneaking up on me in the wee hours when I'm working on a scary head. <laughs> it scares me. Sharon, that husband. <laughs> I know. I was like, wow, really? Huh, that looks kind of stupid. <laughs> I just want it to look so candy-ish, you know? So candy-ish. Yeah, because all your candy corn got hidden with it. Yeah, it's like, let's just have them everywhere. Make it more exciting. You know? Bunch of candies everywhere. Oh, it can look like he has earrings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. And they said that is a pink candy corn. Thank you. Candy. Sharon, Ron is a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
hilarious. <laughs> There's lots of laughs. <laughs> Candy and Ron go back and forth. It's oh, hilarious. They're so she's so fun, so fun. <laughs> it's kind of like on um, Seinfeld, where Seinfeld, he, what's that one guy's name? And they they both just say each other's name. Uh -huh. They see each other. <laughs> oh, because they have a few. What is that? So it'd be like if they if, if, if um, um, Candy and Ron saw each other, Candy be Ron, and then Ron yes. would be like. Candy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's how it would be. Shit, I didn't want that to come off. That's funny. Yeah, that's exactly how it would be. It's funny. What the heck happened here? <laughs> okay. There we go. That's what I want. I want some yellow over here. Almost done. It's going to be just simple. Simple and cute. A yellow splash in there. Um, let's get a black rose over here. I can't even see comments. I got flowers all over. No, they're not. Okay. This the last one was uh, Candy. Okay. Miss Sandy Morrison says Newman. <laughs> That's it, Newman. He's <clears> off. <throat> Jerry. Oh. Newman. Oh. <laughs> it's so hilarious. Yeah. Anyway, so that's Candy and Ron. And <laughs> yeah, they can't put Ronnie. <laughs> Ron or Candy. Ron was saying, Heather, why don't you make ahead of me? I'm like, really? Why? Who's gonna want to buy at the auction ahead of you? He goes, probably Candy, Denise, or Terry, because then when they start telling me stuff, they'll be able to punch me in. <laughs> I'm like, really? Well, I'm going to have to tell him about that. <laughs> hey, Ron. As Sharon says, this is not simple. It's amazing. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Thank you. <clears throat> Ron. Ronald. What? Come here really fast, please. I'm just going to glue this and work? have it stick yeah. to everything because I don't have a... Don't burn yourself. Be careful. I know. I probably no, would. Really... No, I was know. telling them. Remember, you told me make ahead of you and sell at the auction so that Denise Terrier Candy can buy it, and then when they're you guys are going back and forth, they can punch you. I didn't say punch me. I said look at me. I said, oh, look at you. Okay. I said Terrier in what's your name? Chevron. Touch your mouth. Touch your mouth. <laughs> I would and put it on a dartboard, glue balloons to his head. <laughs> oh my God. That'd be the sexiest dartboard you ever had. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, dang. And then he says, like, L A A O. <laughs> That's code for she wants one. <laughs> Did you hear that? Who said that, Denise? Uh, yeah. Did you hear that, Denise? He said that's code that you want one. Oh, he's just so cute. Um, oh, you me. I wasn't talking about oh, you. I was sorry. talking about the candy corn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. There's laughs. <laughs> Runs my candy corn. Oh, I got a pin in it. Why do I have this? What was it on? I don't know. Oh, dear yeah, God. Yeah, they're already forgetting stuff did... again. Oh, wait. This is... Okay, I know what this is. <laughs> Never mind. I was like, shoot, did I, did I ship ahead without the boa? Because you know what I do now? I, I don't, don't hot glue the boas on the neck. I use... I just put a pin, and then if the customer wants, they can remove it because... I just love boas, not on me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't wear boas. Not Ron, not. is that true, Ron? <laughs> <laughs> well, when it's after dark, I mean, it's a different story. Candy puts, oh, please, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Ron actually likes the boas. <laughs> um, <laughs> then she put, oh my God, what an enlarged ego he has. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna be kind of that. Yeah, the color it is was in large. Right <laughs> way in here. Okay, so I want some more orange. I feel like it's not. 
No, that would be too much. That would be too, too much. much. Too much black. Too much. Okay, I want to do another. His arrangement on the on the video doesn't look good, Norma. And because you have so much stuff behind it. It looks cute right here. Yeah, sure. It doesn't T -M -I. look cute there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. With laughs. laughs. Oh, I didn't glue that in there. Heather, you should make a marmor head, ears and all. No. Once I think you can put it close up and then, you know, away from everything else. Mm, I hope so because I don't like the way it looks on the computer. Sharon says you're fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know you can see all You should that. see sometimes in group. Oh my God. Sometimes we just, yeah. Sometimes just, in group it gets we're just laughing. crazy. They get dirty. The ladies call it creepy corner after dark. <laughs> <laughs> But it's a fun group. We're not dirty. <laughs> you know, laughter is good for the soul. Yes, and we laugh. We Especially in the times laugh. we are living now. <laughs> yes. We have to laugh and uh, stay healthy. <laughs> yes. Stay safe. Yes. I think I need and he says, hello. How are you tonight? Hey, thank you for joining. We are all just groovy here. <laughs> we are super groovy. Super groovy. Uh, Susie says he looks great from Texas. Um, thank you. Candy says, They're not talking about you, Ron. Oh, oh, no. Candy says, we have two Ron talks, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> One sec here. Everybody. Sandy put L-M-A-O. <laughs> <laughs> He's cute. Yeah, I think on the computer you, you look like crap. Yeah, because you don't see the intense colors on there. They look everything looks dull on there. I think once you put it close up, once you're done, put it close up there, and um, <laughs> it's adorable. But when I look in that like row, I don't know why. No. I don't. I don't know. In person, he looks mm -hmm. adorable. I'm just thinking. I just think it looks perfect like this. Just no like more. that. Yeah. No more. yeah. Let me let me put him back a little bit because even I'm too close to him going, ugh. I don't like the way you look. One second. But well, I like the way he looks in, in person, not on the computer. Candy says I love it, Heather. Okay, so he's going to be on a stand, which he's not attached to yet. <laughs> he's funny looking. He's cute. He's cute, but funny looking. Okay, let me move my camera so you can get a better look. Oh, wait. There he is. There, I'm going to do some adjusting here and there, but you get the gist of it. Um, let's go like that. See there, I can see where I need to add. Um, actually, hold on. I can see where I need to add a... I have another black rose. There's that square one. I'm going to throw that one away. Like... Like, wow. When you look afar um, at the camera, I could see where it has, you know, needs this or that. This is, he is so cute. I think I might have made his nose a little big. <laughs> that doesn't make him look cute, you know. And you can't really see his candy corns. Um, I'm going to bring out some of those candy corns from yeah. the back. You, They got all lost back there, and mm -hmm. that's just crazy because they're so cute. Look at them. Um, Lesang wants to know, where did you get the stands? Um, I buy my stands at Michael's, and you can get them in different sizes. Um, you could get six inch, five, seven. Um, 
here's another one like for example I use the bigger ones for these arrangements let me just show you let me move them he's not attached so he could fall yeah so super cute candy says I love the nose Sandy see, love with the heart this Happiness. one has like the bubble edge can you even see what I just oh it's too there we go Okay, so for that big size, I use, um, yeah. Sometimes it's very okay. expensive. They were asking about shipping costs for this. The, the um, scarecrow? Yeah, this one, um, this one actually is only, for this one, it's only 45 because she lives in Nevada. She's her estate oh, next to me. Mm -hmm. But going to the East Coast uh, area. Um, outrageous, huh? Yeah, even Texas, are those areas, it. I would have to check, but it could be easily be 50, 60. Yeah, that's crazy. So, yeah, I just uh, I would have to check. And uh, I uh, I ship all my heads USPS priority. Um, I and like for example, I've checked prices for FedEx, UPS, and everything, and a lot of times it's higher. Um, I and I I do ship them in single boxes. I don't I don't combine the boxes. Um, that makes it go up more too because the size of box that's needed. Yeah. So the stands. What aisle do you find them in? When you find the the woodwork. Um, the woodwork. Oh yeah, you'll see all the wood, and uh, they actually usually have tons of just different sizes of these. Um, and what's nice is that this will actually balance even without the stand. But of course, you're not going to use it because it could get knocked over easy yeah. but um when you when you're decorating you want to decorate it too where it balances well but with the stands there's nothing's going to knock it over nothing will knock that over yeah debbie yeah, saying wondering floral arrangements versus wreath in shipping cost what do you have um, was more expensive uh, the the wreaths were actually um well it depended on the box size i, I stopped doing the wreaths because they were so high um, and another thing that's what that really is uh, hard too is I, I do the USPS priority but I did do some with retail ground um, what is it if I sell in California it's horrible I'm forced to have to do it a certain way because I know if it goes retail it will be a little bit cheaper I hate to do retail because that means that the heads are sitting in boxes a lot longer I always, I, I'm very, very careful with my heads, and you can ask Norma, I, I wrap them tons with bubble wrap. Um, I put a lot of work into them, so I don't want them to get destroyed <coughs> at all. So and even if the box is damaged, my heads are, are good. So, um, where was I going with that? <laughs> no, you're, they were asking about the, the price. Oh, um, versus both of them. so um, sometimes... For the floral arrangements like this that I have shipped, I have done retail because the shipping is cheaper and when they're going like East Coast. Um, and I, I'm, I feel pretty good because they're bubble wrapped. But like I said, I do worry the longer they're in a box, the, you know, to me, it's sitting in a post office, they have higher, ch or not a post office, but during transit. They just throw the boxes. Yeah, they don't care. so like, that's Ooh. why I like USPS priority. You get your head in two to three days. Um, so, anyway, sorry, I started rambling. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Denise says, the Halloween wreath you sent me, the shipping cost was $55. Yes. Just crazy expensive. Yes. And she lives in Illinois. <laughs> yeah. She's Illinois. I'm California. Yeah. And you know what, Denise, was that, that might have been even before the prices went up. I don't remember. That's it's crazy. been quite a while. But that one was a big wreath, and it did have a styrofoam head in the middle. That one was a giveaway, right, Denise? I think it was. I do have some cool giveaways in my group, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to call it a night. This was fun. I hope you like this guy. Let me give you a close-up. Didn't do a close-up. Let's start slowly so you can see. There he is. His face. And you can see the little items I have on there. 
I am going to adjust it because the candy corn got lost back there. And That's I so will. Cute. You Now that you have it close up, you can see the color. Yeah, the colors are mm -hmm. so And Denise cute. says, yes, it was in a giveaway. I won. Yeah. I will do the back. This is the back. So I have a, whoa, doggies. I have a lot of extra stuff. Oh, move the camera. Oh, oh. you see. You can see the head. There we go. The dogs. I have a, Pull the wire. <laughs> I have a lot of extra stuff I'll put back there. Just like this one, this custom. There's two of them. The lady ordered two. She actually wants a wreath. Did you, you probably told him that. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. do a wreath. But I have to add, finish adding florals to the back of that one, too. But okay. So anyway, thank you all for floating my boat, sprinkling yeah. the love, and uh, being here tonight. And I hope you enjoyed. And I really hope some of you make this head. And if you do, please share it in the community section of my page um, so everybody can see. Good night, everybody. Good night. Have a nice evening.